guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a MacBook customization and organization video, essentially how to make your laptop aesthetic. I did a MacBook customization video a couple months ago, actually maybe like half a year ago. I'm gonna have that linked up in the cards. So I got the new MacBook Pro back in August. If you guys wanna see that unboxing video, I'm also gonna have that linked up in the cards and down in the description. So feel free to check that out. And I think that is it. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So the first step is really simple. Just make sure that your software is updated. I always procrastinate this, but I'm so glad I finally updated Big Sur. I am obsessed with it. The next step is also super simple. I personally like to start off with cleaning my desktop, so I just organize everything into folders or throw them in the trash until it's all clear. Okay, so now for the fun part, we are going to create a new desktop. So I like to switch over to my iPad for this, but you can definitely do it on a laptop as well. So I first go to my Pinterest. It will be linked down in the description if you guys want to check it out. In one of my previous videos, I made a bunch of different collage wall sections for you guys and my favorite is the neutral one so i'm just going to pick out some of my favorite pictures from this section if you guys want to take a look at the other sections i made or want to keep requesting more for me to make i'm a little backlogged but i'm trying my best so after i saved all the photos that i liked i'm gonna go into procreate you can definitely use like pixart or canva or whatever other software you like but i personally like doing Procreate and then I'm just going to start adding all of the photos. Another important thing I forgot to note is make sure you look up the dimensions of your laptop screen so that you are making sure that your artwork matches your screen because it depends on your laptop. So after I put all the pictures where I wanted them, I decided I wanted the corners of the artwork to be blank. That way I can have my icons visible there. So I just picked studio pen and a random beige color and then doodled the corners and color dropped it in. If you guys are not familiar with Procreate, this might be a little bit confusing, but there are a million videos on YouTube and I plan on making one myself on the intros of Procreate. And once you watch some of those, this is really simple and kind of self-explanatory. So then I also added a like white border, which I basically just duplicated the layer and filled it in white and then used the warping technique. Definitely a lot more complicated than it had to be. I could have also just drawn a white line. Finally, I did another beige blob in the middle and then I wrote out this quote I've recently been obsessed with that says, be the CEO your mom wanted you to marry. I just thought it was really cool. My mom even really enjoyed it. So I just played around with some different pens and fonts until I was happy with how it looked and how it fit. And this was the final product. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I stare at it all the time. Very, very, very happy with how it turned out. I'm going to have it on my website linked so that you guys can download it and use it for your own MacBooks as well. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Okay, so now that we made our new desktop, you just have to go ahead and change it. So open up System Preferences and click on Desktop and Screensaver. And then if you hit that little plus in the bottom left, then you can find the design that you made earlier and hit the Choose button. And it's that simple. I also switched up my Screensaver as well. Okay, so to clean up my desktop a little bit more, I decided to play around with some of the dock settings. So once again, system preferences and dock and menu bar, there are so many things you can change like the magnification, which side you want the dock to show up. If you want on the bottom, the left, the right, I was kind of playing around with them. There's so many options. In the end, I decided to do it at the bottom and to have it automatically hidden. I just thought it was a much cleaner look with my desktop and I really, really liked how it turned out. Okay, so now for more fun design stuff, we are going to create some new folder icons. So I did all of this in Canva, which is a free site, but I personally have premium. And so I basically made just like a square, a white square, and then I decided to make Pantone type icons. So I picked random squares of colors that I thought would complement the desktop that I made earlier. And then I typed each of the titles at the bottom. And then I threw a little trademark symbol because I don't know why, but it made it look more like the real 
thing. I don't know, felt kind of illegal. But in the end, I thought that they all complemented each other pretty well and I was really happy with how they all turned out. I will also have them linked down below if you would like these specific ones as well. Okay, so now it's time to change those desktop icons. So first thing I did was just open up the image that I saved. And then if you go into the top menu bar, click edit and copy. So once you have that image copied, then just right click on the folder, hit get info. And then on that folder at the top, right click that, and then go ahead and hit command V or just whatever function you need to paste. And there you go, it's really simple. Just make sure you're copying and pasting each of the icons and that's basically it. I really like how it turned out and I think they all complemented each other really well. Okay, so the very last thing that I did was more for organization. So I decided to start organizing my finder. Basically, I have all these folders within folders and I was sorting everything from the last year. I was putting things in the trash that I knew I didn't need anymore. By the end, my downloads folder was completely empty, which was totally wild to me, but I was really happy with how organized it was. Down the line, I'm hoping to have the time to rename all the files so that they're easier to find when I search them. But as of right now, they're all in the proper places. I definitely recommend doing this kind of regularly so you're not like me doing it six months later with a ton of files to go through. But turned out really nicely organized and I'm really happy with how the entire laptop turned out. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I believe that is it. So feel free to leave other video ideas down in the comments, and I will see all of you guys next time for my next video. Bye.